one of the major barriers to entering the healthcare market is actually getting the product onto the market. So one of the big things that I'm an advocate of is right at the very early stages when you're developing technology, think about your target market, think about where you want that product to be. With the healthcare market and with the medtech sector, you see in lead times of five, ten years. And the majority of that is due to the regulatory landscape, being able to navigate it successfully and know actually what you've got to do to meet the different demands. I'm working on diabetes research using technology to help people decide what dose of insulin to give for themselves. There's no point us developing technology that people don't want to use or can't fit into their normal workflow. And one of the problems nowadays is that people are used to such a high level of usability in the apps they use on their mobile devices. And it's very hard for medical software to keep up with that, and that's for good reason. Any medical software that gets developed is subject to strict regulatory controls and it takes a long time to get ethical and regulatory approval. If you've already applied for regulatory approval to conduct your clinical study, which you have to do at a very early stage of the development, and then you have to change a piece of hardware, for example, then your regulatory approval is no longer valid. And this creates extra obstacles, especially if you're conducting studies in multiple countries where there are different regulatory bodies that you have to get approval from. You look at things that operate within culture and how culture assimilates changes and adapts to uh, different technological innovations. But there are certain things that can be adopted very quickly if there is a clear benefit to doing so. And obviously what we get is this overlaying and interesting kind of intermixing of forms of communication, forms of technology, technologies being shifted in terms of how you might typically understand them. There are opportunities and outcomes that might not be predictable, but could be good. Obviously, security and privacy is a, a huge issue. So we need to think of the uh, security in terms of hardware and software. So for example, the data has to be anonymized and encrypted. And if you're thinking of using that data, all the services uh, should have proper uh, authentication and authorization and also auditing mechanisms in place before we go forward.